This video will show you how to migrate Jabber personal contacts to the WebEx app using Control Hub. Once you're logged into Control Hub, you will navigate to the Migration tab under Services. On this page, you'll see a card from Migrate Personal Contacts to the WebEx app. Click Get Started. On the following page, you'll have two ways to import the on-premise data. This is based on your IMMP server address schema configuration. The two options are directory, URI, IM address scheme, and user at default domain. Based on your configuration, you'll select the appropriate one. Next, we'll go to the IMMP server to export the user data. From the IMMP administration page, you'll be able to export both Jabber contacts, well as any personal contacts. This is both done from the bulk administration tab. Jabber contacts are under contact list and personal contacts under non-presence contact list. For this video, we'll be exporting the Jabber contacts. On this page, you'll have the different options on which users you want to export contacts for. We're gonna choose all users in this cluster. Once we have the list of these users, we'll click next and here we'll enter a file name to save for our file that we'll be exporting. To check the status of your export, you can go to Bulk Administration, Job Scheduler. Once the job is completed, you can then download the, the file by going to Bulk Administration, Upload Download Files, search for the files by clicking Find, find the file you just created, and select Download Selected. This will save the file to your PC. Now we'll go back into Control Hub where we'll import the IMMP on-premise data. Here first we're going to select the IM address schema we used in our IMP server. For this video we use directory URI IM address schema. Once we select the schema we'll need to drag and drop or select the file from the export we did from the IMP server. This will import and validate the contacts that we exported from IMP in Control Hub. Once that complete, you'll see some information regarding the imported data. If everything looks good, you'll be able to click Review for Sync to begin the migration process. On the next page, you have an option to fix any errors, if any existed, or you can continue with the migration by clicking Migrate Contacts. Now give yourself a migration task name. Click Confirm and Migrate to begin the migration process. Under the Task Migration Progress section, you will see this new task you just created and the status. We'll want to watch for the status to go from draft to in progress to finally completed. Once completed, you'll see information about the number of users, contacts, and successful migrations there were. If there are any errors, it would also show up on this line. There is also option to download some files about failed and successful contact migrations for further analysis if needed. Another note, if you want to do another migration, you'll need to delete this on-premise data first. Do this by clicking the three dots, delete, agree to the two statements, and then click the delete button. Once you do this, you'll be back to where you can import the next file and begin the migration of that data. Now at this point, your migration is complete and the users that have been migrated should be able to see their contacts within their WebEx app.